Hey guys, and welcome to another Three Minute Thursday. Today we're checking out a sick little wiggle effect that you can apply to your gimbal footage or your stationary footage to make them more dynamic. And we're gonna be jumping into Adobe After Effects CC 2019. When you film anything on a gimbal, this is what it kind of looks like. It's very stationary, like you can move around and there's not a lot of movement besides your subjects in the clip. But sometimes I like to create fake movement. So what I'm gonna do is type in wiggle in the effects and presets tab and drag on wiggle position under the animation presets behaviors. Be sure to update After Effects to CC 2019. So from here, we can play back through this and it looks decent. However, there's these black lines that keep coming in from the edges of the screen. So what we're gonna do is hit S on our keyboard, which brings up the scale tool and we're gonna zoom in a tiny bit until we get rid of those black lines. I think that looks good. And then we can play back through this and watch. As you can see, our image has a little more movement into it, and it almost seems like we filmed this handheld, and I really like the look of this. However, sometimes I like to customize the parameters to make it even more dynamic. Up here, you can change the wiggle speed, which changes how much it wiggles per second, or you can also change the wiggle amount in pixels. So for example, I'm gonna change my pixels to 100, and let's change my wiggle speed to 0.5. So it doesn't happen as often, but when it happens, it happens more. I'm gonna have to click S on my keyboard and increase the scale a little bit more. So as you can see, we're starting to get a more natural shot with more movement in it that looks really organic. And this is really obvious if we play back through the same shot, only we untoggle the effects, you can see what it looks like. Let's, so let's do this effect with another clip. So dragging this clip into my timeline, I'm gonna go to my effects tab and drag on the wiggle position onto my clip. So right now, let's just change the wiggle speed to about five wiggles per second and see what happens. And like before, let's click on our video, hit S on our keyboard and drag our scale up a little bit. As you can see, this kind of creates more of a natural running along with your runner look rather than our standard gimbal shot that we have right here. Right now, I wanna show you another example of how you can customize this wiggle even more. So I'm gonna call this wiggling the wiggle, if that makes sense. We're gonna go over to wiggle amount pixels, and this basically sets the parameter of how far this wiggle will go, as in right now it's at 50 pixels. So if I hold the option key on a Mac and the alt key on a PC and select this stopwatch, you'll see down here we have highlighted our expression. I'm gonna type in the expression wiggle, and then I'm gonna create an open parentheses. Now we need to type in two numbers separated by a comma. The first number is gonna represent the frequency of our wiggle, and the second number is going to represent our amplitude of our wiggle. So since our wiggle is already set at five wiggles per second, let's just make this one. What we're gonna do now is hit a comma, and then I want to change my parameter to 50, and I want it to randomly add or subtract 50 to our pixels. Theoretically, our wiggle can go anywhere from zero to 100. Let's close off this parentheses and click away and see what happens. So if I go back to the beginning, as you can see and watch through this, you'll see that we're starting to get some smaller wiggles and larger wiggles throughout our clip. And as you can see, because this is our random multiplier that we just created within our wiggle. So looking up here at our wiggle amount, it's not constantly 50 anymore. Now it's 43. If I go further in the clip, it's 51. If I go further, it's eight right here. If I go down here, it's 55. If I go out here to the end, it's 35. So this is really cool because the wiggle effect is already random, but we just made it even more random and organic by using an expression. So keep in mind, you can play around with these two numbers in here and change them however you want while keeping in mind the first one represents how often the wiggle happens per second and the second number represents the amplitude. Well hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did please let me know down in the comments. Also let me know what you want me to check out next. Hit that like button and if you're new consider subscribing because I'll be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.